Hey guys, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use the Octoprint plugin that comes with Ultimaker Cura. And what that does, that allows you to use your Octoprint server. And via Cura, what it will do is it will allow Cura to send to the Octoprint server and you can monitor it via your camera's video feed right within Cura. It's super easy to set up and I'm going to show you how to do it. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome to where nerdy is cool. My name is Paul. If this is your first time here, hello, thanks for finding me. I hope you decide to become a subscriber by hitting the button down there and hit the little bell so you get notified whenever new videos are available. If you're a regular visitor, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. So let me tell you about what's going on today. So I have a lot of people that ask me to go back a couple steps because they're brand new. So they want to kind of follow my progress. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see right here, I'm at Ultimaker's website, and we're gonna download Ultimaker 3.4. And I don't wanna share my info, and we're gonna download that guy. And I'm gonna have it go straight into my download folder. And thanks to our fairly zippy connection, it's there, done, and ready. And this is, uh, this is my newer computer, so here we go. We're just gonna agree to this. This is where it's gonna install. Now, just to be aware of this step, I know a lot of us just click, 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 click. If you're upgrading from our previous version of Cura, one thing that's changed is right here, where now they call it Ultimaker Cura. It used to just be Cura. So when you click on the Start button, you would find you know Cura in the C's. Well, now you're gonna find it in the U's. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. So I'm gonna go back a step and then here we go. I don't want it to be aces high because I clicked on that by accident. Here we go. All right, we'll do this. I'm gonna say yes on all these other file formats. Don't use them now, but you never know. And then this will take a moment to fully install. Okay, installation is complete. We're gonna run Cura. Depending on your computer, what have you, this could take a few seconds to get up to speed. Okay, there it is. And if you haven't used Cura before, you know, here's all the, uh, you know, you click and drag to move things around. But what we want to do first is now under Toolbox, we want to click on Browse Packages. And this is where all the plugins are located. And we want Octoprint Connection. And we want to update that. And we accept their terms. Now, once it's been installed, Cura has to be restarted. So remember what I said about trying to find where Cura is now? If we go way down here under the Use, and there we go. Okay, now there's a few prerequisites, okay? Before we go ahead and get uh, Octoprint configured with uh, Cura, what we need to do is we have to make sure, and we're gonna do that over here, is we're going to make sure that you're already connected to your printer, that the Octo printer is already talking to the printer. So in this case, as you can see here, I already have that connected. So that's one of the steps you want to make sure you do. And now if we go back over here, now in this case, it's hooked up to my Ultimaker 2 Plus. You could have whatever printer you use, but we're going to manage that printer. And over here, we're going to do the Connect Octo Print. Now, this is remembering my previous installation. It's kind of cheating a little bit here. So what would happen is, if this is your first time installing, this would be blank. And that information, just so you're aware, is under here, under your settings, and under API, that's this key right here. 
And if you click on this button right here, it will copy it to the clipboard. And we can go ahead and minimize this. And what you do is you would right click and paste, and that would paste in the API key it's looking for. So we want it to automatically start a print job after uploading, and we want it to show the webcam image. And we're gonna click on connect, and it's gonna say the state is just waiting for a print job. We'll click close. Now if we click on monitor, voila, there is our Ultimaker printer. And all the controls are over here on the side. So if we wanted to set the extruder temperature, the build plate, or if we wanted to move anything around, we can do all those things. So what I'll do just for demonstration here is I'm going to open up, let's do a 20 millimeter calibration cube. Throw that in there right smack in the middle. Uh, this is the default settings that the Ultimaker uses. It's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna go to 10 on my temperature just because I know my filament. I don't need support. I'm gonna do a skirt. Now there's a couple of things you can do if you wanna customize things here. I know, for example, that I like to have my extruder purge a little bit of extra material when it starts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Ultimaker 2 Plus, Manage Printers, and under Machine Settings, here it is over here. So by default, it's going to extrude, I think it's usually 10, maybe it's around from my old settings, but I have it set to E20, 20 millimeters of stock filament. I believe the default here is 10, so I always I always double it. So we have that set to go. I'm just looking for any gotchas here. I don't see any. Let me just uh, click you. Yep, you look good. And then, is there anything else I want to? Let's make you point two. All right. And then I'm going to change that to uh, 8. 8. Oops, come back. There we go. So that's just some rough settings. I don't need anything super fancy here. So, what's going to happen now if I click print with OctoPrint? You're going to see that job is being sent over. Unfortunately, my camera is not focus sharply on the uh, printhead itself. But as we uh, wait, and as things are getting up to temperature, this will all change. So I will leave this alone and we will let this time lapse do its magic. All right, so I'm gonna let this print go on. That's the gist of it. That's basically all there is to it. If you wanna have Cura send the print job directly to OctoPrint and you get that monitor window so you confirm that it's indeed printing and started. Uh, and then, you know, for the rest of the print, you just do what you usually do through the web interface. So there it is. And the price is free. How awesome is that? So anyway, I thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below of the video I've done. If you haven't seen my other videos, be sure to check those out. I got a ton of stuff. If you want to help the channel out, check out my link at www.patreon.com forward slash where nerdy is cool. I would love to have your support as a Patreon patron. And if you want to help me via PayPal, I have a link on my YouTube homepage. There's a link in the upper hand corner that says donate via PayPal. Anything you want to throw at me certainly helps me out. I enjoy doing this, but I, I, I welcome your financial resources if you wish to share them with me. So that's it for this week. Don't forget to check out my social media links. I'm on Facebook as Where Nerdy Is Cool. I'm also on Instagram, Where Nerdy Is Cool. And I have my own website as WhereNerdyIsCool.com. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay nerdy.